experiment I'm going to try. I'm going to recipe, an old school recipe for turning uh, brandy, basically brandy, into Grand Marnier. From what I understand there's no heartburn and it's a lot better taste and uh, yeah well we're going to give it a try. So the instructions were pick up a relatively inexpensive bottle of brandy. I'm using some French brandy of Got here in front of me. So I'm going to pour that into a mason jar. I'm going to fill the mason jar up to probably the 40, 40, per, or, uh, 40 ounce mark. Um, top that up. I'm going to take a cup, one cup of sugar, and I'm going to mix it in with the brandy, and I'm going to stir it up. So I got to, you can, if you use fine berry, berry sugar, it works up. A lot quicker it'll mix up faster but I'm, I'm using just regular granulated sugar so it'll just take a little bit more mixing to, to get it to stir up and, and disintegrate inside of the brandy and then what I've got to do is I've got to take an orange a big navel orange scrub it down clean it up make sure it's nice and clean and then I'm going to tie a string around it and let it meat in the top, in the center, and I'm going to suspend it an inch above the alcohol in the jar. So it'll be sitting just above. Don't let the, the orange touch the alcohol. Just let it sit about an inch dangling. I'm going to use string and tie it around the jar four corners and tape it off so the string stays. And then I'm going to put the orange in to the jar. And when, it, when it's in, I'm going to suspend it and tie it off one inch above the alcohol. And again, one inch above. I'm going to take some saran wrap, I'm going to put it over the top, and I'm going to put an elastic band around and cover it up, let it sit for about a month. And uh, hold on, I'll do, the, I'll do the process and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done here. Hold on. inside of the jar. I've topped it up to just past the 40 ounce mark here and what I've done is I've put the orange, suspended the orange, with string wrapped around it. Like I said it's suspended inside of the jar now. And what happens is it makes the, the alcohol inside of the jar makes the orange sweat so it's actually dehydrating the orange right now um, I've had this one going for uh, about four days now and I can already see that the orange is dehydrating the strings are getting embedded in the peel they're actually sinking into the peel now and I've, on the bottom on the bottom I've got drips of I guess it's uh, an orange extract coming out of the uh, out of the orange itself so it's dehydrating the orange um, I marked on a piece of tape I don't think it'll show but I marked on a piece of tape uh, how much fluid was in here when I started and it's not really making any difference so it's it's probably just the the essence of the orange itself that's getting in but uh, yeah just leave it suspended I've got it suspended tied off at the top and I taped it different spots to keep the string in place and suspended the orange 
It was tough getting it inside, but once I got it inside, it seemed to, I could get it to stay above the, the liquid. So yeah, now I leave it for a month and let it go. Let's see what it does. Now I've used three layers of saran wrap over the top. I've got a rubber band on here and another rubber band here forming another gasket. So I'm trying really hard to keep this as airtight as possible. That's the whole idea is let the alcohol do what it has to do with the orange for the extraction. So yeah, see you in about uh, 27 days. Good luck.